The final group that we need to look at are the alkynes, and they are characterized by a triple bond. So where we have carbons, we have a triple bond between the two carbons. And you can see that here is a triple bond between the two carbons in this particular compound. Again, because there are only two compounds, our prefix for two carbons is eth. And the group of hydrocarbons, which are also unsaturated hydrocarbons that have a triple bond, are called the alkynes. So the second part of the name is ine, and so in this case, a triple bond would give you the y-n-e suffix, and therefore the name would be ethine. Just as we did with our um, transition from butane to butene, we can also turn butene or butuanine into butuanine. I'm hoping that as we look at uh, enough of these examples, you'll start to realize uh, each time I'm adding one of these bonds, I'm taking away two hydrogens. So the formula uh, changes for each of these compounds as well. You can see that the, um, that the compound that I have now has a triple bond between the first and the second carbon. Because of that, if I was to draw that for you, uh, I would have uh, a carbon, 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 triple bond to another carbon. Uh, it's always useful to draw the carbon skeleton first, put any of the double, triple bonds that are going in. You can see then I need four, so I have one there. It's, you can see this particular carbon here already has four bonds. Three and one is four, so there are no hydrogens attached to that one. But then there are two here, and there are another three here. So here is my... Uh, compound, and this particular compound uh, has the double, uh, the triple bond between the first and the second carbon. Of course, I don't go from the other end because that would give me a three and a four, and my rule is smallest numbers. So the smallest number here is the number one, so four carbons is butte, so this would be butte one iron. Just as I did previously, I could add a methyl group coming in. Um, if I did put that methyl group coming in here, then, uh, for example, it obviously couldn't come off the first carbon because then it would uh, turn it into a five carbon chain. It can't come off the second carbon either because there is already four bonds um, that are uh, in existence with this uh, carbon to the two carbons either side of it. So there's nothing else. But it could go onto this one here. And then we would need to look at the fact that we now have uh, one for our triple bond, but two and three for our methyl group. Now the hydrocarbons are such an important group that we will deal with them separately in their own little section after we've looked at some of these names. You'll need a little bit of practice. Of course, it's also possible that there may be more than one uh, double or triple bond present in the molecule, and that also creates a few extra little challenges, and I won't go into those now, but I'm sure you'll get the chance to have a look at those in class. Do plenty of practice, and thanks for watching.